Good day. The following video will show you the registration guidelines for WSU 2021 academic year. Go to www.wsu.ac.za. Scroll down to the bottom right of the homepage to the Connect Me option. Click on the registration link provided. Follow these steps for the registration process. Login screen. Enter your login details, for example, your student number and PIN. Click login. Please note, if you have forgotten your PIN, please just put in your student number and click request PIN. Your old PIN will be sent to your personal email address. Landing homepage. You have now been able to successfully log in to your student profile. Click academic registration to begin the registration process. Step one of five. Read and understand the declaration, then scroll to the bottom of the page Click Next Step. Step 2. Change your employment status to unemployed, if unemployed. Click Save and continue to the next step. Scenario 1. New student and a returning student with no debt, self-funded. This is a message that will appear to a new student and a returning student who have no debt from the prior year who is not funded or whose funding status has not been verified by the university. Self-funded students, new and returning, are required to pay the minimum initial payment of 4,400 Rand before the system will allow them to proceed with registration. Funded students whose funding status has not been verified or processed should follow up with the FAB or bursary officer for their funding status. Refer to the registration guidelines for further details. Scenario 2. Returning student with debt self-funded. This message will appear on a returning student who has debt from the prior year, who is not funded or whose funding status has not been verified by the university. Self-funded students are required to pay the MIP, which is 4,400 Rand, as well as a percentage of the debt from the prior year, which is 27,786 Rand, 82 cents. The total amount that needs to be paid before the student can be cleared to proceed with the registration is 32,186 Rand 82 cents. Funded students whose funding status has not been verified or processed should follow up with FAB or the bursary officer for their funding status. Refer to registration guidelines for further details. Scenario 3 Returning student with debt funded by NSFAS. The message below will pop up to a returning student currently funded by NSFAS who has outstanding debt from the prior year. These students will be required to sign the Acknowledgement of Debt form before financial clearance is processed. There may be no need for a down payment to be made as long as the student signs the AOD form. The amount of 111,147 Rand 27 cents just shows the current debt which the student will need to acknowledge by signing the AOD form. Students should note that only NSFAS funded students will be required to sign the AOD. For further details on the AOD form, students can consult the registration guidelines document. Scenario 4. Returning Bursary Student with Debt The message below will pop up to a returning student currently funded by a bursary who has outstanding debt from the prior year. These students will be required to pay a percentage of the prior year's outstanding debt before financial clearance is processed. 
on the pop-up message, the amount of 27,786 Rand, 82 cents, is the percentage amount that needs to be paid by the student before clearance can be made. Students can consult the registration guidelines, MIP, for further details. For scenarios 1, 2 and 4, self-funded students can make a cash deposit into the university fees account from any FNB branch or payment can be made from an FNB account. The deposit will reflect on the university account and the student will be cleared within an hour. There will be no need for a student to send a proof of payment, but students need to ensure that they have deposited the money into the correct university fees account. They remember to put the correct reference number, which is the student number, so that the system can allocate the funds appropriately. All this information is available on the registration guidelines document. Please note that deposits made from other banks other than F&B will take 48 hours to clear and reflect onto the university system. Scenario 5. This is the same scenario that we have already used on the tutorial video where the student does not have an outstanding amount or whatever amounts that are owed have been cleared, thus allowing the student to register without any hassles. Select your modules. Please note that most programs will come with modules already pre-ticked for you, especially for first-year students. Core modules will be pre-ticked and you are unable to untick them. If you are unsure about the modules that you are supposed to choose, please call the university for assistance. Click Save and Continue once all modules have been selected. Details of your registration will appear. If you are happy with your selection, click Continue. Step 3. Further details of your registration will appear with Cost of modules All related administrative costs Total amount owed for the registration If you are happy with the module choices and you understand all the costs attached to the registration, then you click Accept Registration. Please note that total balance refers to only the tuition fees owed to the university. This does not include books and residence fees. Step 4. Your proof of registration will be generated and displayed on the screen with all your details, biographical and academic, as well as amounts for the registration. The final step is to either print or save the proof of registration. You may print your proof of registration to get it stamped by your faculty officer or you may save it on your device for easy access should you need it for your student card or for any other purpose in the future. For further assistance on WhatsApp, please contact the following numbers. Buffalo City Campus 72 345 3166 Gormani 076-672-7659 Butterworth 064-987-2297 Nelson Mandela District 066-150-7412 Congratulations! You are now officially a fully registered student at the Walter Sisulu University. It is our pleasure to have you as part of our family and hope that your experience, both academic and social, will be a memorable one.